Slams, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're going to be trying out some Zara makeup. I don't know where we're going to go with this video, but we'll see. I, I don't have high hopes, weirdly enough, but anyways, that's why we have this video. Today's shout out is going to go to HK. Thank you so much for your really sweet comment and just for always watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get a shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, leave a nice comment, and yeah, who knows, you'll be in one of my next videos. I have all this stuff here and I literally got so much, guys. I'm just gonna first moisturize my skin. So this is what their foundation looks like. It's the Limitless Soft Matte Foundation. I got the shade Neutral 933, which I think is a little bit dark, but we'll see. It's so weird because when you put it like down on a flat surface, it kind of sits like wonky like this, which is so weird. I think they were trying to do something good, but I don't know comes with a pump it was so hard i feel like brands these days if they want to like come out with foundations right they need to give me swatches give me swatches because it, ugh, not all the zara stores oh this is drying quick oh let me get a brush let me get a brush oh do you know what do you know what oh my god it's full coverage didn't even need that much. Oh my God. It's really hard for me when it comes to matte foundations because that's not my favorite finish. I really like a dewy, glowy, skin-like finish. So it's kind of almost unfair for me to review this because it's not gonna be my favorite finish. I can already see like it's super matte. Oh, so dry on my forehead. Well, I'm really shocked by the match, first of all, because I was struggling so much. I even got two shades. I got, I also got warm 941, but you can just tell from the bottle, it's just gonna be too orange on me. But this neutral shade is really nice. And it's applying really nicely with a brush. I don't know. It feels really heavy. And I would say I use like about a pump. For my whole face so you really don't need much the next thing i got is the luminous creamy concealer in the shade warm 923 comes with a regular doe foot applicator oh that's really soft it's not as light as i would like it to be but i really like that doe foot applicator let that sit for a bit but yeah the packaging is really nice in this it's just a glass bottle very heavy well i did buy kabuki foundation brush from them but i didn't use it wow it's lovely isn't it do you know what that feels really really nice it would have been perfect to blend out this foundation and it's got really nice coverage i wish i got a lighter shade to be honest blending so nicely but again it was really hard to pick a shade i feel like brands need to come out with really nice like swatches like on the arms they are really helpful to just get a really rough idea and like in good lighting i think they can at least do that if you're going to come out with a foundation range because most people do a lot of their shopping online i'm just opening all these boxes i'm going to take some of my huda beauty powder oh my god it's already creasing Oh my god. I'm just gonna set that. Let's just see how this looks by the end of this video. The next thing I picked up was some bronzing powder. I don't know if this is gonna work for me, but I got the shade Rich Soleil. Again, the packaging is, is nice. It looks really light on camera. It looks light in person, to be honest. I don't know if you can see that amount of kickback very very powdery but let's try and make this work the shade is actually working i'm finding it better to like kind of dab it instead of like swiping like i usually do i really don't like how powdery it is but oh but like overall this is looking okay do you know what i'm not mad at it it looks good but i can't say it's it's like my favorite. The shade is nice. Do you know what? Like I do see myself use it, using this, but it's just not, it's not standing out to me. It's not like applying how like my usual powder bronzers apply. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks good. I got two br blushes. I got a powder pinky wash. It looks like this. I think this will look really nice on me. 
This one's in the shade Bliss and I got it for $7.99. The prices were okay, you know. I also got this color stick. It's in the shade Wild. It's very like warm and orangey. This is what it looks like and it's $12.99. What I do like about these though is like they're really fillable. You can just take it out the packaging and get the refill, which is really good. Let's first try the powder blush. This is what it looks like up close. It has this really tiny mirror. Like I can barely see in this. Oh my God. It's like trippy. Let's try the pink one on this side. Ooh. I find it with their powders, it's better to just tap it on. I really like that. That definitely gets a pass from me. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's just the Oh, it's just a perfect pink for my skin. Let me not go too much. Okay, that's it. That's enough blush. I'm just gonna put some of this cream blush on my... It's a color stick. I don't know what it's used for. I think you can just do whatever you want with it. But I'm gonna pick it up with a brush. It's very glittery, but... Do you know what? I'm just gonna apply it straight on there. It's very like metallic. This would go really nicely on the eye. Like that's a pretty bronzy color for the eyelid. So yeah, definitely. And it works nice. It also does work nicely as a blush, but yeah, again, not a fave. That blush definitely stood out way more to me. The eyes, I got this eyeshadow palette. Let's try this out. Because we had a lot of kickback with the bronzer, there wasn't as much in the blush at all, to be honest, but I'm just, oh no, this is all right. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? I mean, you cannot say that's not pigmented. And I have unlimited, unlimited brown shadows. So I thought, let me go with something different. Super, super pigmented. There's not really any fallout. And it's blending really nicely as well. I'm then gonna take the bronzy, bronzier shade with my finger and just literally, oh my God, you have to use the mirror like this. I'm just gonna put that in the center. No, the shadows are definitely really pigmented and I'm really not mad at that. Yeah, so that definitely gets a pass from me. I also got this refillable automatic liner. First of all, if it's black enough. Oh my God, she is definitely black enough. Oh my God, that is really good guys. On my waterline. And I just did a little flick on the corners. I actually make the ugliest face when I do put mascara on. Like when I look back at the footage, sometimes I'm just like, why am I making that face? Ooh, never seen a mascara in a frosted glass bottle like this. This was £12, Inky Dark Cosmic Mascara. See the brush. Oh, the brush looks intriguing and it's really black. That looks good, right? I've just realized I'm wearing two different blushes. I might have to even it out, but. Wait, hang on a second. I'm really, really not mad at this. It's gripping really nicely, really nicely. If a mascara doesn't have any grip, like I just don't want to use it. I have to be a little bit careful because I just want to go overboard with this. Wow, that was just with really one coat because normally I let it dry and then I go back in. I don't feel like I can go back in though because it's it's it feels heavy, but it just, ugh, it just gave that oomph instantly. Whilst that's drying, I might try and do another coat to see how it builds, but I'm gonna uh, even out this blush. It might be patchy, I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can put a bit more mascara. Oh my God. This mascara. I just don't want it to clump. I feel like it can easily clump. I'm gonna not touch it anymore. But yeah, it's nice. It's just a question of whether, how long it, it, it lasts. So I'll definitely keep you guys up to date in the caption, in the info box. And then finally, I did get some lipstick, but I'm just gonna quickly line my lips. I got the lipstick in the shade De Debut 701, and it's the ultimate matte lipstick. And you just put the refill in here. How do you put this? Oh, you just push it in and there you go. All the packaging have this slanted bottom. I don't know how I feel about that, but this is what the lipstick looks like. It's a very pretty nude. Okay, let's try this. I 
I used the Viev uh, Bark Lip Liner, which is one of my favorite, and oh, this lipstick. This lipstick, oh my god, it's so beautiful and it's very comfortable. To be honest with you, the only thing I'm not liking right now is the foundation. And like I said, it's not really fair for me to review it because I don't, I'm not a fan at all of matte foundation, but it's very full coverage. It's flawless. The concealer is really nice, but it's creasing so much under my under, under my eyes. Like, you know, when it just gathers, gathers up in my creases and I've just applied it. So I don't even want to know what it's like later on in the day. I won't be doing a, uh, a test on this, but I will definitely uh, keep you guys up to date on the mascara because I really like the mascara. I love the blush, the mascara, the eyeliner, the shadows were really pigmented. The bronzer works, but it's just not my favorite. And I'm already getting major smile lines with the foundation. It covered really well, like my pigmentation around my mouth. So I'm a bit torn, I'm a bit torn and I got a good shade. I don't know, what do you guys think about the foundation? I mean, It looks flawless. I just don't see myself reaching out for it. It's just not for me. But you know, it's a drugstore foundation. If you want to try it, give it a go. I think definitely go into store before buying it. Uh, but yeah, I love the blush. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this testing out video. Let me know what other stuff I should try out. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm you know I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting much at all, especially like with the reviews that I already saw online. But overall, it's not bad. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe so you can join the family. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.